welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today is a great video, even if I say so myself, because we are going to be targeting all of the problematic areas of the face. Think horizontal forehead lines, frown lines, nasal labial folds, mouth lines, jaw line, the whole shebang, everything. Everything is going to be in this video. And the other thing about this video is that you will not need any cream or any product you can do this on clean face so if you do find that um, oils massage oils massage creams tend to break you out you're a little bit more congested um, this is one for you you don't need anything at all we're working with slightly deeper tissues of the face muscles fascia um, and it's just as effective so I'm super excited but I want to kind of start with addressing the fact that our lines and wrinkles are not only due to our natural process of aging um, but it's also due to our lifestyle so we have to be kind of responsible to ourselves and admit that certain lifestyle um, decisions that we make can affect um, the posture of our body but also the lines and the wrinkles and the folds and all of that. Not only things like how active you are or diet affected but also the way you sleep and I have mentioned this on my channel countless countless times but the position of your head when you sleep and what you sleep on will have a profound effect on your face, how it looks. I have mentioned this product so many times on my channel but here i am doing that again because i know so many of you love it and i know so many of you have got it so those of you who haven't and are still messaging me about what pillow i sleep on here it is i sleep on an omnia sleep and glow pillow i've been sleeping on this for i want to say over five years it has been a long time um, i have upgraded to that new one i buy fresh pillowcase once in a while but they do wash very very well this one is super silky but what is the beauty of this pillow well the beauty of this pillow is the way that it has been designed by orthopedic professionals but also people who are thinking not just about the health and the position of your neck and your posture but also about lines so obviously when you sleep on a normal pillow I only have a t-shirt here but it will do imagine you're sleeping on a pillow you're smooshing your face into it and as you can see straight away we're seeing lines around the eyes we're seeing lines around the, the nose around the mouth and I'm not even pressing that hard where is with this pillow this has a little cradle right here, as you can see. So no matter how much I will push, let me show you, my face into it, there's nothing. There's just nothing because it is literally designed for it to support your head, to support your neck. It doesn't create nasal labial folds. It's such a great way to prevent any new ones from forming, but also to help the ones that are already existing in combination with massage. Hence, you know, I am here preaching about it. I had to go on a holiday um, for a week and obviously I normally don't take my pillow with me um, if it's like an international flight and my god I missed it, I really did. I slept for a week on a cotton pillowcase and just the side of my face felt, it felt drier and also it just felt so much more affected by it. Um, they have conducted clinical studies, I think in like a Spanish clinic about it, so they have literally proven that the wrinkles get reduced and it helps but I just love it. Even if you're a back sleeper it supports your neck really Really, really well. I'm gonna leave the link below uh, all the information and um, it's gonna be there. Can't recommend it enough. I'm super excited to jump into the massage so let's just go into it. So we're gonna be working with muscles. This will feel slightly different to like a strokey, effleuragey, lovely relaxing massage. This is a little bit more work. So we're gonna start with forehead. So think horizontal lines, any kind of lines around the forehead and also in this area of the eye. Fingers go above the brow and then the other fingers go above. I'm going to meet the fingertips in the middle and then I'm stretching them away from each other. It's a slow movement where I'm pressing my fingers down and then I'm pressing them outwards. So it's a press down and then outwards. Try to keep your neck long and your shoulders down away from your ears so not bringing any tension into the upper body. If you feel some tension in the neck, you can slightly drop your chin and gaze down. And then once I've done about three, 
on one line. I'm going to move a little bit closer to the center and do exactly the same. So think about the upper hand, the one on the top, pulling up a little bit more than the other one goes down. So we don't want to pull the brow down too much, but what we want to do is lengthen the forehead muscles. So we have this large muscles here, and when they start shortening, when they kind of start drooping, this is what happens. You get lines like that, and you also get drooping of your brows. So this is what we're working with. You can swap hands as you get to the other side. So I do about three. And my top hand is going all the way into the hairline. Nice deep breaths. And a little bit more towards the temple. And then we're gonna go into the angry 11s. Definitely a problem for me, a little hook through the first finger, meet them in the center, slide them out, and then one goes back, the other goes back. We pull them apart again. So again, shoulders nice and low. Keep that breath going. So we're just going to the center of the brow. Lining it out, opening up this space. So about 10, 15 of those. And then we're gonna go into the temple. So the temporal muscle is a large muscle to the side of the face. It um, creates lines around the eyes, so think crow's feet is the lines that you horizontal lines that you get above the brow so one hand is going to sit below so just above the cheekbone and then the other hand is going to pull up so i am again it's like i am widening the muscle i am breaking apart any stagnation i am breaking apart any kind of knots in the muscle or the fascia so I'm going just past the cheekbone and when I go down, I press a little bit. This is where our chewing muscle is. So we also want to apply some pressure there to release the tension. At the side, about 10 on each side. using the fingertips the heel of the palm can rest on top of the head so you're not straining okay now we're going to go into the nasal labial fold so here the first thing we want to do is just release the tension a little bit so i'm going to place my fingertips just on the side of the nostrils and i'm going to start creating a vibration so vibrating with both hands at the same time so just, I'm not pressing in too much. It's more of an opening. So nostrils open, nice deep breath in. So this is where we're releasing the tension that creates a fall. So it pulls the corners of the mouth up. And this is where that muscle is. So we're releasing the tension there. And then I'm going to create a little fold with the cheeks, not pulling too much. So I'm not pulling my eye down just a little bit of a more of a lift, lift, and then we're gonna vibrate side to side. And then a little bit more out, and again, vibrating side to side. And a little bit more. And then we're gonna massage just on the side of the nostrils. So this can be a little bit sore for some and you're just going in a circular movement on the side of the nostrils. Then we're going to lengthen this muscle. So again, this muscle that we were working before. First fingers go into the nasal labial fold and you're going to pull them away from each other. So really, it's all about lengthening this muscle because as soon as it shortens, this is what happens. Drooping. Same thing on the other side. 
Then we're going to release the circular muscle of the mouth. Pinch the corner, pinch the other, just hold. And now massage across the lips. Especially into the corners, that's where the connection is. And now we're going to work with the chin. And I'm going to place thumbs underneath and then the little hook sits on top and we're going to rub this muscle up and down. And then circle in, circle in, circle in. So we don't just physically hold quite a lot of tension here, we also hold quite a lot of emotion here. If you think about pursing like your lips, um, there's a lot of tension in this area. So this is the area that we want to release. I'm going to move a little bit to the side. Again, thumbs are supporting, a little hook over, and I'm going up and down. So I'm massaging the connection of the depressors here. Moving a little bit out again. Thumbs are supporting and all the way towards the chewing muscle. So other side. Some redness is completely normal, by the way. Blood coming to the surface of the skin. Blood flow is the health of your skin as much as it is. Um, as much as lymph flow is, you want fresh blood, you want fresh oxygen, fresh nutrients constantly coming to the surface of your skin. Knuckles are going to go under the jawline. And then when I get to the edge of my jawline, my other hand is going to pull up. So I'm ironing out the chewing muscle here and the jawline. So here we're working with jaws, double chin, sculpted jawline, tension in the chewing muscle. About six of those. Again, knuckles can feel quite sore you tend to hold tension in the jawline. And once you finish, I'm going to place the palms on the side of the neck. I'm going to slightly press my palms down and then I'm going to manipulate the skin into this circular movement. And then gentle sweeps down towards the collarbones. A little pat to release the tension. Give yourself a little spritz or maybe some cream, something refreshing, have some water. Any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, it's always lovely to hang out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And I hope to see you very soon in my next video. Bye.